welcome to The Price is Precise, the game show where we get people to look at stuff and then they make a little guess on how much that stuff costs. It's all great fun here on The Price is Precise. Now let's meet our three contestants. Chris, you like traveling, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And Peter. Peter, you like the color blue? Yes, yes, blue. Yes. Ooh, fantastic. Now, Diana, I heard that you recently moved. Oh, I just escaped from a North Korean prison camp. Ooh, <laughs> cool beans. All right, let's take a look at our first item up for bid. It's a pretty new scooter. This pre-owned scooter comes equipped with plastic bits, two wheels, and an engine. You'll be scoot, scoot, scooting about in no time. It could be yours if the price is precise. Chris, we will open with you. Please tell us your bid. <sighs> My bid's gonna be $2,900, Steve. All right. Diana, over to you now. My bid is going to be $45,000, Steve. Wow. That's a huge bid. What, what do you think the scooter's made of? 30 other scooters? That's a big bid. <laughs> it just looks really nice. Alrighty then. An enormous bet from Diana. Peter, over to you now. Steve, I'm going to have to go with the dollar. One dollar? You know, you're not, you're not betting with your own money. You can actually make a, a real a real guess. I know. It's not three lemons on sale, right? I know. <laughs> it's a vehicle. It's a working vehicle. And the actual retail price is $2,750. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. You guys are great. Great losers. No, I, I won. You want me to take this one? Um, you didn't win because you made a stupid bet. You bet a dollar, so you don't win. Now, can I just drive the scooter directly off of the lot, or will it, the seat have to be adjusted for me? Oh, uh, actually, Chris, uh, Peter won. He got closest to the actual retail price without going over. But he bet a dollar. He, he bet that a scooter was a dollar. <laughs> I was $150 off, and he was $2,749 off, but he still wins with his bet of a dollar. Okay, that's, that's not how guessing games work. It was a strategic bet that I made. What was strategic about it? What, was your strategy to be as wrong as possible? Because I, you, you were. You were way off. Well, <laughs> it's perfectly allowable in the game. This is horseshit. So you're telling me with his bet of one dollar, he got the price more precise than me. That's what you're saying. I think you're overreacting. And I just think that you should stay out of it because you bet $45,000. It was a pretty hefty bet. It really was. All right, let's move on with the game. Yeah, let's play the game. Fine. Next item up for bid. It's a new Bayliner. You'll have fun in the sun. Is it a dollar? Go. Completely broken? Because that's really, it's the only way I could ever see it costing a dollar. You had a closer bet. Thank you. Okay. But he still wins. Yes. With one dollar. Yes. This is ridiculous. I just really thought it was forty-five thousand dollars. Oh, I know. But you were so wrong, though. I let go. I'm taking this now. I'm taking this. It's not me. It's that one there. there. It's the one in the back. It's the price. The price is bullshit. You know. That's the name of. That should be the name of the show. Let's show them the next item up for bid. Chris left. What? He's definitely gone, but he left that card. Let's, let's open it up, see what it says. <laughs> if you're reading this letter, I've already taken the scooter and left. But don't worry, I made sure to pay back the price of the scooter in full. So why don't you take this dollar and go buy a Scooter! <laughs>